everyone. I am starting off today's video in our little fixer upper. We have some things we need to get done in here today as we are to some of the final touches. So as you can see behind me, it has a lot of stuff just sitting in here in boxes. Tools are still in here. So we gotta do a lot of cleanup work. If you don't know and haven't been following me for a while, we have a 450 foot square foot little house built in 1900 that was a workshop well actually it was like a teeny little house first half of 450 square foot then it was a woodworking shop and we have revamped it into going to be an airbnb so we're gonna do some work in here today and try to get some of the things out of here um, i have a few things i want to open up and put out i can't do everything yet because not everything is coming in yet and there's things in the bathroom that still need to get done a little bit, but I just wanted to bring you along because it's been a minute since we've done an hour fixer upper video. So I wanted to incorporate that into today's video, or maybe this will just be the full video. up here on these shelves because they were just a little scratched up, a little painted or unpainted in a few areas. There he is. We went back inside to watch him cut. Is that loud? Yes. It's <laughs> here. Oh, nice. Okay. You can use it for a little bit of storage then. It's a lot of the storage. A lot of it, yeah. The top one now we'll have to. Yeah, top one's not as bad. I only know that you cut this part out and a little bit from the back. Okay. Would you make like a wood square around it or just leave it open? I might just leave it open, honestly. Okay. I think that would be okay. Like I'm not gonna put anything in there that's gonna, well only if it falls, it falls to the floor. So it's not like you can't get it. I need to get something for this, these two. So he's cutting out the second drawer and then added I added a new base because the base is kind of shot. Yeah. And then I needed to add a backing so it had some support. That's smart. And then you're just going to glue it in and nail it in? Yeah. Okay. Really? Oh, wow. That's good. Yes. Lose a little bit of space, but don't be bad. No, it'll keep it from falling apart too yeah. if people pull on it too hard. Well, that'll give us a bunch of storage. Yeah. I'll have to line it with contact paper or something too. Yeah. yeah, you're doing a good job. You can make some walls. at the front of our little house and these beautiful little purple flowers are blooming in the grass. My shadow's in the way there. Those are just beautiful. 
Well, I'm taking a break from our little house and I'm gonna plant some pepper seeds I have. It's a little late for pepper seeds, um, but I have some kale coming up here. I planted some zinnias there and some parsley. So hopefully those come up. And I have another seed tree of tomatoes, just plain green peppers and um, some broccoli. So, and some snapdragons because you gotta have the florals too. So I'll put a few peppers, some colored peppers in this one. Two right in there, in this hole, this little hole. Okay, put them in there. See, both of them, there's only two. Good job. Those two in right there, see? Good job. Hey. It is already lunchtime, so we're just having leftover sourdough pizza, salads, leftover coleslaw, the peas are for Nadia. Just a, a great way to have lunch is leftovers. Well, Mir is now hung too, so just been working on the bathroom projects, and I'm wiping out the drawers, vacuuming them out, and I'll put some contact paper in there. There went the light. Blurry. See how it goes. The faux fire. And that's probably the heat. Yep. Yeah, that really. It's all the way up. It puts off some nice heat. That's really nice. It's all the way up. And this will be a nice little touch to our little fixture up right here. Add a cozy ambiance in the cool nights or winter days. Tonight's supper is kind of just an all garden conglomeration of things that I had in the freezer. So I'm gonna throw some frozen green beans that I had from the garden, some tomatoes I need to start using up, some corn from <laughs> two years ago. And then I've got some carrots, garlic, onion, sweet potato, um, just simmering in the instant pot because it's already getting close to supper time so it's gonna be kind of like I'd call it shipwreck put everything in one pot and then I have some red beans I'll throw in too so just kind of a simple meal put some seasonings in it and then we'll have some sourdough bread too and probably that orange so just a very simple meal when you are very busy Thanks so much for watching this Our Fixer Upper Cottage little episode of what we have gotten done today and just how as a homemaker when you have a busy day, keep a meal simple is great and that's truly what we did yesterday. It's a new day as you can tell I'm in different clothes and so we just hammered out working on this little house. I'm so excited to share the finished project with you. It has been a long journey but it has been exciting to see it finally come to fruition. And so there's a few more steps we have to take to finish this up. 
but of course I will show the big reveal from our 450 square foot little workshop we purchased to being a little 450 square foot Airbnb that is cozy, cottagey, and hopefully a welcoming place for our future guests. But hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. We'd love to have you join my YouTube community. But with that, I will talk with you in the next one.